हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी कंटिन्यू विथ अवर सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट इज द कंसेप्चुअल डिजाइन इन अ प्रीवियस लेक्चर इन अ चैप्टर सेकेंड कंसेप्चुअल डिजाइन वी डिस्कस द ओवर व्यू ऑफ अ कंसेप्चुअल डिजाइन ओवर व्यू ऑफ अ डेटा बेस डिजाइन प्रोसेस इन दिस वी डिस्कस द फेजेस ऑफ अ डेवलपमेंट नाउ वी इन दिस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द डेटा मॉडल्स Data model is nothing but the abstraction process or hiding the implementation details. What sh uh, shows to that the particular user of a database that are represents in a data model. Data model is nothing but the logical structure of a database design. There are three types of the data models. In a previous lecture, we discussed the object-based logical model and with their different types. In this lecture, we discuss the record-based logical model, in which relational model, network model, and hierarchical model, and last one is the physical model. The record-based logical models. These data models are based on the applications and user levels of the data. How the processing operations are made. possible data mentions in a record base define the actual relationships between the data and their entities it has three types relational model network model and hierarchical model in a relational data model relational model represent the database as a collection of relations as a collection of relations is uh, nothing but in a table format for example student 1 have the name then have the addresses all these informations that are mentions in a tabular form that table contains the multiple columns and each column is recognized by a unique name for example student number student name student address all these columns names are the unique and they have the multiple columns the relational models was proposed by dr e f cord to model the data in the form of relations or the tables in the next uh, we see the example a relations is nothing but a table of uh, values these values are represented in the rows in the table denote a real world entity or a relationships example of a relational model here that mentions the student table and the course table which students have registered to the which course that relations is represent in a student course table that is roll number 1 whose course id is the cs101 that is the roll number 1 whose name is meena and who, who, who is from the computer science department and who selects which has the course introduction to c programming that is the student table there are the multiple informations in a student table course table they have the different uh, fields and different values but the relations between the student tables and the course table which is represented in the student course so that the relational models which are represented in a tabular form in a student table roll number student name department these are the multiple columns but they have the unique names that is the roll number 1 is not repeated then the student name and the department and in a course table there is a course name and the course id and in a student course that have mentions the relations between the student whose roll number is 1 whose course id is cs101 the advantages of the relational models they are relational models are the simple ability to handle the different types of the relationships ability to handle the different types of the relationships means it has the different relations such as one to one one to many that we have to dis further discuss in the same lect uh, in the same uh, chapter then uh, relational database are easy to use because the relations that we have to represent in a tabular format 
the different structured query languages for uh, retrieving the data per performing the different operations for that purpose use the high level structured query languages in the data independence the structure of a database can be changed without having changed any applications and regarding the number scalable relational database is a scalable because regarding a number of records or rows and the number of fields a database should be enlarged to enhance their usability there are some disadvantages of the relational data models it has the limits on a field length then complex and complicated and it is a lack of the structural independence these are the disadvantages of the relational data models now we discuss the second model from the record based model that is the network data models a network model represented by the collections of records the relationships among the data is represented by the links in a relational model relationships are represented among the data by using the tables but here in a network data model a relations is represented by the links the records are organized as a collections of the arbitrary graph links means for example the simple example of the links when you visit the websites when you click on one button then it goes to the next second page that are the links are given for the go to the further the same concepts are used in a network data models in this example examples of a network model here the customer table and the customers account number which is represented in the form of the links the customer details and their accounts details they are not related to each other but the that customer have the account and their uh, amount which is represented in the form of the links advantages of the uh, network data model it is a very simple to design conceptual simplicity that is a it is a simple to design and understand easily the second one is a capability to handle the more relationships that is there are the different types of the relationships such as one to one one to many many to one and many to many relationships that can handles in a database each of the third advantage of a network model is it to data access is it to data access means at the the links are given the whenever we have to access the data by uh, by click on a link we retrieve that the data so it is easier and flexible data integrity next advantage it is a data integrity data integrating means they provides the security to unknown author to avoid the uh, invalid access and the data independence the network model is better than the hierarchical and the relational models for the complex physical storage detail these are the advantages of the network model then disadvantages system complexity all the in the network data models all the records are maintained using the pointers hence the whole database structure become very complex this is the disadvantage of the, the network data models then second one is the operational anomalies operational anomalies means we have to insert the values in a database we have to perform the search operations to find the particular record or we have to update the any record then it requires the number of links adjustment for that purpose we have to require the number of links adjustment so these are the operational anomalies operational drawbacks operational drawbacks means we have to perform the insert operations we have to insert a particular value in a database we have to retrieve the particular data 
so these are the some operational anomalies which are uh, which are the complicated in a network data models then the absence third uh, disadvantage is the absence of the structural independence structural changes to the database is very difficult in the network data models these are the disadvantage of the network data model now we discuss the third model from the record base it is a hierarchical data models in a hierarchical model the parent child hierarchical relations there is a one parent entity with the several children entity at the top there is a one entity called the root node we see the examples of the hierarchical data model here that represents the store store which is the root node that stores have the child customer managers and salesman means in a store they in a store these are the different entities which comes who they are customer managers and the salesman customer also gives the order manager also gives the orders and salesman provides that the orders customer who gives the order to the manager manager take their stocks and give the order to the salesman that is in a hierarchical data model the uh, relations are divided into the hierarchical format from the top to bottom the top node is a root node is a root node means which is the which has the, for which purpose that database is developed that is the root node under the root node they we have they mentioned the child node that relations are divided into the levels so that types of the models is the hierarchical model the advantages of the hierarchical data models are first one is the simple data naturally in a hierarchical relations is available easily so that it is a very simple the security this database system can vary the different security features data integrity data integrity can be highly promoted in this system because of its inherent is nature inherent is nature means the parent have the child nodes so their data integrity is very promoted and the efficiency this model is efficient when the database contains the large number of relationships large number of relationships means one root have the many child nodes that is 1 to n n means the number of the relationships then the disadvantages disadvantages of that the network data models complex relationships are not supported then second results in inaccurate information there is a no data manipulations lack of standards and poor flexibility these are the disadvantages of the network data models thank you